why do we want that? And this is so crucial to me, guys, that you understand why we want to add the loop. And if you start a forehand or a backhand with the racket straight down here, you start with zero acceleration, guys. Hey, guys, this is Davo from Tennis House. Welcome to Tennis House Instruction. So Tennis House Instruction are short videos there. I want to give you some technical tips on your uh, strokes or some uh, tactical advice. Depends what we pick as a topic. So today I want to work on the forehand shape. It is very important that you have the right technique because if you don't have the right technique, you will probably have some um, difficulties to keep that ball where you want to place it. So if you have a tube and you have a um, basket, what you can do is you can put a tube in here and as we know on the forehand, when you look at the pros, they have the racket out here, they get under the ball and then they go up. So with the tube here, what you can do, you can place the players right here where the tube points kind of to the belly button and the arms are out. That's very important out in space here because if the arms are too close, it's going to go too much in the rotational uh, phase. So keep the arms out right here and then make the players go a little bit back drop the racket down go under and pull up and catch and what i like to tell my players is when you look at the stroke we go out here the left hand stays on the heart then the racket goes down then the hip snaps in the butt cap points forward we go up and when we're done with the shot the bottom points forward again and we have some space under the armpits so that is very important when you uh, work on the forehand technique. So again, you can do it in, uh, as a progression. You split step, you turn here, you set the foot, drop the racket, go down and up on that ball. And again here, down and up. So that's one really good thing to shape your forehand. And why do we want that? And this is so crucial to me, guys, that you understand why we want to add the loop. And if you start a forehand or a backhand with the racket straight down here you start with zero acceleration guys so you start from here and you try to accelerate something you want a rhythm so when you go here and turn your upper body and then drop the racket you are starting to have a way of acceleration you have momentum going for you and then you go it's not from zero to a hundred you already have like a little bit on there that's one important thing and then the other thing is if you when you turn here, um, the longer wave acceleration will create more rounds per minute when you hit the ball and instead of being here and trying to hit up on that ball. And actually another thing that's very important is if the ball is high after the bounce and you just keep the racket low, you're going to hit out like this. So there are many reasons why you do not want to start with the racket straight down. So remember that, keep that in mind. Try to have your racket head always a little bit above the ball then you drop it and then you go up on that ball. And uh, as I said, those uh, tennis house instruction videos are short. I hope that helps you. You can do that on the back end side as well and try to shape your ground stroke a little bit. You're gonna see, you're gonna keep more balls in there and you're gonna be more powerful when you hit those. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you have a beautiful day.